Donald Trump is in huge trouble. And uh, our party needs to wake up to the fact that uh, he will not be the next president of the United States. He is much more likely to be in different federal housing um, than the White House. We find jail references irresistible, and we think that different federal housing line was one of those. Hi again, everyone. It's now 5 o'clock in New York. Quite a prediction there that Donald Trump will end up in jail from a former federal prosecutor and a former Trump ally and enabler. Chris Christie is now running against Trump for the Republican nomination, underscoring with some authority the severity of what happened yesterday, what we learned from ABC News. That former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows was granted immunity by Special Counsel Jack Smith's team ahead of his testifying before the federal grand jury in Smith's election subversion case. That, again, according to ABC News, NBC News has not confirmed this reporting. An immunity deal with Meadows would spell deep trouble for the ex-president. No one knew more about and worked more closely with Donald Trump or knew his mindset around his defeat in the 2020 election than his own right-hand man, Mark Meadows. Remember what Meadows former aide Cassidy Hutchinson told the January 6th Select Committee. I remember looking at Mark and I said, Mark, you can't possibly think we're going to pull this off. Like, that call was crazy. And he looked at me and just started shaking his head and he was like, no, Cass, you know, he knows it's over. He knows he lost, but we're going to keep trying. There's some good options out there still. We're going to keep trying. He knows we lost. We're going to keep trying. The extent of Mark Meadows' immunity arrangement is still unknown, but ABC News provides this detail. Quote, the sources said Meadows informed Smith's team that he repeatedly told Trump in the weeks after the 2020 presidential election that the allegations of significant voting fraud coming to them were baseless, a striking break from Trump's prolific rhetoric regarding the election. According to the sources, Meadows also told the federal investigators Trump was being, quote, dishonest with the public when he first claimed to have won the election only hours after polls closed on November 3rd, 2020, before the final results were in. Quote, obviously we did not win, a source quoted Meadows as telling Smith's team in hindsight. Mark Meadows' attorney called the story largely inaccurate. Trump, recognizing the threat Meadows' testimony poses to him, took to social media, making what are sure to be violations of the gag order issued by Judge Tanya Chutkin last week, although luckily for him, that order is currently on pause. Trump went after his former chief of staff and called his allies who have cut deals with prosecutors in recent days, quote, weaklings and cowards, end quote. In what would be another clear violation of the gag order, Trump also referred to Jack Smith as, quote, deranged, an insult he has used numerous times, and one that Judge Tanya Chutkin made clear is not acceptable in her view. But ABC's reporting and Trump's nasty response to that reporting reveal is that the walls could just be at about closing in phase on the ex-president over his efforts to overturn a free and fair election that he lost. It's where we start the hour with some of our favorite reporters and friends. Former top official at the Department of Justice, Andrew Weissman, is back with us. Former acting U.S. Solicitor General Neil Katyal is back with us. And New York Times Washington correspondent Glenn Thrush is here as well. Glenn Thrush, it, it has been one of the enduring mysteries, right? What did... What did Mark Meadows' skilled attorney George Terwilliger do to not shield him from criminal exposure in Georgia, but to so far avoid any charges in the federal election interference case? And I wonder your thought, um, not necessarily on, on the immunity piece, but on the story Mark Meadows has clearly told Jack Smith. The Times had some of the earliest and most extensive reporting on that. That seems to have gotten through to Donald Trump. Yeah, I think Meadows is obviously a critical player in this. He was uh, at literally at Trump's right hand during most of the events that we have described. Uh, as you said before, we have not been able to confirm the specific details of the uh, NBC story. But in June, we did report that Meadows testified before the grand jury. And it is not uncommon. They're called uh, a queen for a day deals in which individuals are granted situational immunity. So in exchange for testifying before a, a, a grand jury. So all of that sort of comports with, with what we generally know. And we also know from Cassidy Hutchinson and also from extensive reporting inside the White House contemporaneously and subsequently, and also the wealth of information from the January 6th committee, um, that this is generally the sequence uh, of events. But um, Meadows' testimony is obviously critical. 
uh, particularly now as we're seeing this momentum, the rolling up of the flanks in Georgia, uh, of, of the attorneys going uh, down one by one for these plea deals. Uh, and as we are, you know, the Jack Smith investigation was sort of an, out, an outer ring inward investigation. It seems that the, that, the, that the prosecution in Georgia is interacting with the federal prosecution to sort of accelerate things. So things are sort of moving uh, quickly up the road. Uh, it, I think it is very likely that over the next few weeks, you're going to start to see an increased amount of communication between Smith's office and Fonnie Willis's office in Fulton County uh, as, they, uh, as the two investigations sort of intertwine. But I think what's very important about this Meadows story is to point out that this is moving much, much closer to Trump. As you said, the walls are closing in. And Meadows, again, appears to be at the very, very center of, of, of the facts set that both investigations are needing to find out more about. Yeah, and you know, Andrew Weissman, um, to describe a story, a very, very long story that deals with a whole lot of things, including inaccuracies that Mark Meadows published, and I don't know what the contract is like with his publisher, but what the ABC News story reveals is that there are some real questions about whether he knowingly lied in the things he put in his book, because according to ABC News, they contradict the things that he's testified to under oath to Jack Smith. Knowing Jack Smith, how do you analyze this news? I completely agree with uh, Chris Christie. Remember, he was the U.S. attorney in New Jersey. You do not make a decision to immunize anyone, let alone the chief of staff uh, to the former president who has criminal exposure. You don't do that lightly unless that person has truthful testimony that you think would implicate people who are far more culpable um, and that it's hard. You know, that's pretty clear who I'm talking about would be the former president. Um, the, the thing that I would note that's kind of interesting here is because discovery has been turned over in uh, both federal cases, the one in D.C. and the one in Florida, somebody who knows exactly whether Mark Meadows has been given immunity and his transcripts from any grand jury testimony or interviews with prosecutors is Donald Trump, because he's in, he has been given that. So he's very aware, if this story is true, of precisely the situation that Mark Meadows is in and how he could hurt him. Um, and the other thing, the final piece, is the sort of denial, uh, or largely denial, by uh, Mark Meadows' counsel is one that, um, Nicole, I don't know if you share my view, but to me it read, and this is just an opinion, that you know it was not a flat out denial and the way i read that is you know, there may be pieces of this that are immaterial that are wrong uh he may have met with the government more times or he may have gone into the grand jury more times uh there may be things around the edges about what he precisely said that are incomplete or maybe wrong uh, but it wasn't a flat out denial about the immunity deal uh, so this is obviously huge news. Uh, it does suggest to me what Chris Christie said, um, and it's something that Donald Trump uh, actually knows all of, and his team knows all of the ins and outs of his uh, testimony.